I had to get a new mouse because I dropped the other mouse in the dog water. 
<laughs> That'll do a generic mouse, but you have to charge it every 25 seconds. Yes, buy cheap, buy twice. Right. On your back. Try this, right? Keep your legs up. Come up, and then you go side to side like that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On your back, lift your butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Ghost of that sciatic pain back, and I grab my pelvis and push it away from me, and it goes click and it stops immediately. Uh, weird. Good. On your back, put the ball between your feet. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, keep your lower back and imprint, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your ball, kick your leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Thank you. 
All right, then we're going to go 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way. I'm auditioning for the, uh, the next remake of the Submariner film, Das Boot. <laughs> I can tell you it's uh, very hot here in the engine room. <laughs> Jürgen, can you come over here, please, and tell Hans to go down and do some, like, man stuff with the pipes. Now, up and down, standing on the bottom knee, up and down, lateral, side plank, up and down, 20 times. Tell, uh, tell, uh, <laughs> tell Lieutenant Angela to go down and put in the torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, go and put the torpedoes in. Push your feet out <laughs> 20 times. She's very small. She fits inside the engine room and also <laughs> through the, sometimes you can send her through the tubes. <laughs> and 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way. And then up and down, standing on the bottom knee. Just the rising temperature, and you're like, yeah, I don't want to do anything. tried that food allergy stuff thing yet? Yeah, I have. What did you find? Um, oats, apparently, which is bizarre. Oh. I know, I can't have oats either for some reason. Yeah, but it makes sense because I was having sort of an oat muesli for breakfast and I was feeling really sort of stodgy and horrible afterwards. Yeah. I'm better off on toast, which is really weird because you would have thought oats would be more healthy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something bizarre. See this? I had... I had two helpings yesterday of of uh, patatas bravas fried in beef tallow, and then I had fried chicken with uh, dipped in honey and um, penang sauce and um, spinach leaves, and I had like ten chopped ices or something as well. So <laughs> as long as you don't eat, that's not to eat. It doesn't seem to have too much of a detrimental effect, which is curious, yeah. isn't it? Don't you think that's bizarre? Yeah. Wouldn't it be mad if, like, it was just like just a tweak of your diet instead of? Don't you look at it ever, Angela? That'd be it. It'll go low. You need to eat a whale's bladder every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to eat everything except whale's bladder. Like vegetables. <laughs> Every vegetable. Every oh, vegetable. Oh, there's a load of vegetables I'm allergic to, which I couldn't believe. Go on. Well, I tell you a weird reaction I had as well, which might have been, I, I, I don't think it was psychosomatic. Right, then we're going to do horseshoes. So 20 horseshoes, like one horseshoe. Two I can't eat cucumbers. Uh, my dad was allergic to cucumber skin. Yeah. Sweets. Um, 
What else? There's loads. Carrots. I'm Scouse. Scouse has got carrots in it. What else? There was a load of vegetables. Uh, cauliflower. Broccoli. Uh, elderflower. Wow. Just like, okay. That's weird. <laughs> But I said to be able to eat potatoes till they fall out of my ears without any bad things happening. So after we've done 20 horseshoes on both sides, it's 10 circles, uh, 20 circles, 20 circles, 10 bells. And Tamsin, because I, because as soon as I found out I didn't I wasn't meant to have cucumber, I stopped having it. But the other day uh, Tamsin wanted some cucumber on her chicken. And then she always does this because she's a feeder. She goes, I want loads of chicken, and then she shoves it on my plate. She's a feeder! And I could taste the cucumber where it touched the chicken and it was tasting really strong and unpleasant. And I'm like, that is bizarre. I've never had that. Before. Never even noticed the taste much of you. After the horseshoe. Twenty circles, twenty yeah, circles, was... ten bounces. Okay. In the hammock alley song. I challenge you to, do, to reproduce that picture. <laughs> you, your husband, and the dog in the hammock. It would never be so undignified as to put a Yorkshireman in a, in a hammock. You couldn't do it. You're more likely to get me at the front of the Rio Carnival than you are to recumbent myself in the hammock. <laughs> Make yourself. Okay. Stone that makes you feel like you're going to scream. Yeah. Like something out of Marathon Man where they drill a hole in your tooth and then just stick electrodes down into the torch. We wait for Laurence Olivier to come out in a French raincoat and start electrocuting me. <laughs> Do you remember that when he, he stayed up all night? He stayed up all night, uh, Dustin Hoffman, to try and look like he was. He'd stayed up all night. Have you, have you ever tried acting? I just remember, is it safe? <laughs> is it safe? Is it safe? Oh, right, so you got one heel on your block, one foot on the floor. Down, kick, and up. Ten on one side, ten on the other side. The voice of Put your 
drink and have a rest. Remember what I was doing 19 years ago when Bill, when Tamsa was heavily pregnant with Bill. I made I made us all go kayaking and I made Tamsa carry the double man kayak, the two man kayak with me. Yeah, I was sick of it malingering at that point. <laughs> we tried everything else to induce labour. I thought carrying a kayak would do it. Right. What? It worked, didn't it, too? Three, 50 times. So you're whipping your inner thigh up. He's 19 today, which is just preposterous. Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's terrifying. <laughs> and then the other side. You know when you meet really, really old people at the bus stop or something and they're like, Do you know? Do you know 97? And I'm like, yes, we can believe that. It's because your whole perception of time has gone like a toilet roll where it gets faster towards the end. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible, but it's true. Bad analogy. <laughs> 
Don't worry about it. You're already you're immortal for some reason. Your vegan lifestyle has made you immortal. Ten one way, ten the other way. When I eat, when I fry all my food in cholesterol, I literally think to myself, this is only either gonna kill me or cure me. I have no idea. <laughs> what are you cooking it in? I'm cooking it in cholesterol. This will either make me immune to cholesterol or will kill me. Okay. Stand up and push on your block. Arch. Flex. Arch. Flex. If you've got a stool or a chair or anything, it will work pretty good. I have to buy one of these. Okay, brilliant. Arch, flex. Arch, and it can take 300 pounds in weight and it's made of plastic and it folds up. Three, two, one. Dangle. Okay, dangle with your forearms cross. Now do this. Eight breaths, eight seconds of breathing out, four seconds of breathing in. Eight seconds of breathing out. Four seconds of breathing in. You'll be amazed that long eight second out breath really unlocks your hamstring because it sends a message to your whole nervous system that everything is safe and it's all right to relax the muscles. Two things the spindle detects in the, in the, in the fibers is speed and length. So if you move too fast, it will lock itself up. And your last minute of dangling, just to see if we do that eight seconds in. Four seconds in. Relaxing. This minute is the longest minute. This last minute is the longest minute. It's like, come on, it must have ended by now. 25 seconds to go. Think about your lower back, trying to let go of that tension. Alright, legs apart, stick out your bum, bring your body to a right angle with your legs really, really wide. Hands behind your back and dangle to the floor. So get as low as you can with your legs as wide as you can. Let go of your back. Dangle, dangle, dangle. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four. Okay, hands find your back, dangle into the middle again. So just relax, completely relax. Eight seconds of breathing out, four seconds of breathing in, or three seconds of breathing in. Okay, you're stretching so many muscles. You've got adductor magnus brevis longus, bicep femoris, semi-membranosis, semi-tendinosis. You're getting stretched in the quadratus lumborum and the lumbar erector spinal. Everything is lengthening. Gastrocnemius soleus. All pulling, lengthening. And you're creating more extensibility in the body. Okay. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Shuffle in nice and slow. If you did it right, you're going to be really stiff. Your body's like, oh, what? How have you done? That is the spindle sending messages to the to the to the base of the spine. Okay. Roll down, put your hands flat on the floor, hug your legs, pull yourself into your legs. And then we're gonna peel up from the bottom to the top. Peel up, peel up, peel up. Stretch. One, two, three, and shake them off. You are all magnificent. Have a lovely Sunday. Get some of that lovely stuff. Thank you, Kira. That's brilliant. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.